Hey guys, John from Ecom XSEO here. Just another quick tip with uh, optimizing your Shopify store. Today I'm going to talk about uh, quickly in this short video AMP or accelerated mobile pages. Now you probably have heard of AMP and some of you will be using them on your stores, uh, but if you're not, you should. Um, AMP uh, is now adopted by Google, so it's a, a technology that allows your mobile pages or when someone clicks through from a mobile search to open your mobile pages in lightning speed. You've probably seen in some of the search results when you're looking through a mobile, there's a little lightning rod icon next to the URL. Now, uh, it's the way it works is a little bit complicated, but essentially your pages that are set to AMP run through a CDN network that Google controls and this allows these pages to be uh, served lightning fast. number of great reasons for this. Number one, it's fantastic user experience so uh, your users can click through, they're going to get that uh, get served the page really fast and, and you, your conversions are going to increase because of that. And number two, speed is the ultimate in any store, uh, any site, let alone e-commerce stores. So the faster your store can be, uh, certainly on mobile, the greater chance you're going to have to rank higher. And we're seeing when, we, when we're installing AMP, not only on uh, e-commerce stores, but all sites, but when, you're, you, when you install AMP on a, on a Shopify store, you will see ranking increases. It takes a little bit of time, but certainly you'll start to see traffic coming in from your AMP pages. Uh, you link your, your AMP pages through your Google, Google Analytics, and you'll see traffic coming in through those AMP sources. Now, the, the issue with AMP in the last couple of years is it's been, it's, there haven't been a lot of uh, apps in Shopify or plugins in WordPress, for example, that actually allows you to build a nice, clean, functional, and good-looking page or good-looking product page. It's now there's, there's been that time now that the developers have been out there and been able to, to set up and create apps and plugins that do that. So we've tried all of them in Shopify. The one we recommend, the one we use all the time, and the one we've seen the best results with is AMP by Shop Sheriff. It also has a free plan available, which is really good. Uh, some of these others are, are paid, some of them are free. But this is the best uh, app we find to get into AMP with Shopify. Get your product pages at least set up on AMP. Um, so for, on the free version, you can get your, I'll just click through, your free version, you can get your product pages set up on AMP, really easy, quick, and simple to set up. And then if you, you pay, uh, a small monthly fee, then you can set up your collection pages, your home page, etc. Uh, we really only do it with collection pages and and our product pages. Uh, it allows you to do your blog as well, but we always run our blogs through like a subdomain on WordPress anyway for various reasons. So <clears throat> that this is the one I'd recommend so you can work through and see how it actually, uh, what features it has and they give you a bit of an idea and, and a bit of a a, uh, a run through on why it's good for your site. The other great thing, it actually uh, integrates with all your m m the main review systems you'll you'll find on Shopify, um, and also analytics. Now I've just run uh, an AMP page here that we've got on a store through GT Metrics, and then I've also run it through Pingdom. It says here that it's running at two seconds or loading in two seconds. It actually loads for the user, loads much quicker, which I'll show you in a second. But once it goes through the process of the server and then the CDN, uh, the, the technology is running at two seconds, but it serves the page uh, much faster than that for the user. But you can see some pretty good scores here. And that's pretty good for Shopify anyway. Shopify is, um, it is slow, especially if you're running a lot of apps. Uh, there's ways and, and strategies that you can use to increase the speed of your Shopify store. Um, it's not as easy to do it as you would with, with say WooCommerce or WordPress because th those platforms are open source. You're limited in a way on what Shopify can do. Uh, but that's another video I might do actually on, on uh, setting up Shopify to run for speed. So that's on uh, GT Metrics and then we run it through Pingdom and a little bit more, uh, but still not too bad. Okay, so here's a installed on one of our stores and you can see it, it basically walks you through setting it up you can see here um, if you where you want it to actually be installed um, so if we just go to configure and we'll go to theme template 
and you literally walk through and you add your logo, change your height, etc., all your different options for your typography and your colors, etc. So you can pretty well really quickly make it work and look just like your your desktop or your uh, your other mobile theme version. And you can see it here on the right um, what it looks like and it looks looks quite good. You, there's all there's a heap of other features you can turn off this so it doesn't go to the full site. You can actually set also your AMP pages so if someone clicks from this AMP page uh, it'll go to the next AMP page or it'll go to your site. So for example if you have your collection page set as AMP and someone comes in on a product page and they click through to a collection page it'll show them the AMP page as well rather than going to the full site which is pretty handy. You can set up all your menu links uh, how you want them. Then we've got our, our Google Analytics, and we've got a, you can add your Facebook pixel there, so you, um, you actually collect all your visitor data on your Facebook pixel as well. Then if we go to the products template, and here's where you can actually set uh, your setup for your your product page. So it, it's actually quite intuitive and works a little bit like WordPress itself. So it's really simple to do. I'm not going to go through all of them. Uh, collection template, blog template, etc and your pages if you want and then here you can tell it which products you want to actually show so you can turn off products if you don't want same with your collection pages and your blog post etc page visibility this is where you tell you you tell it what what pages you want on the shopify store to actually be amp so on this one we've only got product pages that are set to amp uh, we can then set our domain configuration so it's up to you whether you want to set the domain uh, we've just got it set to the, the recommended default setting here or you can actually um, add your own custom domain details in here and it gives you all the validations as well so um, and this this will all run through google uh, google search console too uh, so you can see it's really really easy to set up but i'll just show you um, if we go to an actual product page and what i'm going to do I'm just going to open it. Uh, so what it does, so the way AMP works, it only will show in a Google search and when someone clicks through to that search. So you, in WordPress on some plugins, you can actually set your mobile pages to be AMP no matter where they come from. So that could even come from social media. Uh, but in this particular version, uh, it's only if they click through from Google. So when I click this, it's going to open up in the desktop, so it's going to look ordinary, but uh, then I'll, I'll minify it down to what it would look like on, on a mobile and you'll see what it looks like. I'm just doing this to show you how fast, if I click this, um, how fast the page actually loads. So I'll click it now and you can see it's lightning fast. So we'll just uh, then minimize it and you can see there's your AMP page there with all the details you want. Got your reviews here, so really, really cool. So what I would say is it's a no-brainer because this you get products as an as AMP pages for free with this AMP for Shopify by Shop Sheriff. Um, just install it, set your mobile pages to AMP for your product, and see how it runs with your analytics and see how it runs in Google Search Console. You will see benefits, especially if you've got a lot of products, you'll see um, nice nice improvements and kick up uh, in your traffic. So there you go, that's AMP for Shopify. Uh, we get no benefit out of promoting uh, or endorsing this app. It's just an app we use, uh, the best AMP app we've found so far. Install it and see how it works. Thanks, see you in the next video.